today on Rappler. There are requirements before uh, a preventive suspension order is issued, right? There are requirements. Yes. The evidence is it strong. The Ombudsman challenges the restraining order on Makati Mayor Jun Jun Binay's suspension before the Supreme Court. Pork barrel scam mastermind Janet Napolis gets a life sentence for illegal detention. And mixed martial arts champ Ronda Rousey visits Manny Pacquiao. Hello and welcome. I'm Maria Ressa. This is Rappler's Rap for the Day, a list of the most important events around the world you shouldn't miss. The Supreme Court holds oral arguments on a Court of Appeals order stopping the Ombudsman's suspension order against Makati Mayor Junjun Binay. Junjun Binay fought the Ombudsman, Conchita Carpio Morales, suspension by running to the CA, which was quick to issue a temporary restraining order. Morales argues the TRO is illegal and the Court of Appeals has no power to stop it. Morales says in her petition, quote, the CA will create a dangerous precedent. In response, Binay says she should have gone first to the Court of Appeals to file a motion for reconsideration. During the oral arguments, Justice Presbyterio Velasco asks about the graft complaint against Binay. So on March 5, 2015, uh, what happened to this complaint? Uh, who acted on it? after it was filed? Uh, Your Honor, uh, in cases of mayors and governors and other high officials, it is the ombudsman which approves the investigation reports and issues orders for further investigation if warranted. Now, after the... Morales clarifies the creation of a special panel. The ombudsman can... Uh, uh, designated another special panel of preliminary investigators because the fact-finding investigators cannot be the judge in the preliminary investigation and administrative adjudication. Velasco and Morales also talk about the requirements of a preventive suspension order. There are requirements before uh, a preventive suspension order is issued, right? There are requirements. Yes. The evidence is it strong. The evidence of guilt is strong. Yes, of guilt is strong. Yes. The cases involved dishonesty, oppression, oppression. grave misconduct yes. or neglect in the performance of duty. Yes. And they or could call for removal of the or respondent or uh, you want to preserve uh, the uh, documents uh, that you will probably need. Preserve and at the same time access more documents. Yes. Now, uh, Madam Ombudsman, um, what uh, constitutes uh, strong evidence of guilt that gave rise or served as a basis for the issuance of the preventive suspension order? May we know what the sworn statement of the alleged losing bidders were considered? Yes, Your Honor. There were purportedly three bidders. One was supposed to have won, and that's Hillmark. The two others were supposed to have participated, but one said he never ever participated. So therefore, the document reflecting the presence of three bidders is a falsified document. Second. Still on the Binay case, Makati Mayor Junjun Binay files a libel complaint against Senator Antonio Trillanes for accusing the Binay family of paying the Court of Appeals justices to issue resolutions in their favor. Binay adds, the damaging and ruinous claims spewed out by respondent Trillanes are mere concoctions and fabrications. Binay cites Trillanes' public statements and quotes credited to him published in the Philippine Daily Inquirer last Wednesday. Trillanes said the Binays were, in his words, part of a syndicate that committed various anomalies. The founder of the Bangsamoro Islamic Freedom Fighters, or BIFF, is dead. Amiril Umra Kato dies from cardiac arrest around 2 a.m. Tuesday. BIFF spokesman Abu Misri Mama says Kato's daughter confirmed her father's death but refuses to disclose where he's buried. The BIFF is a separatist group from the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, or the MILF. It opposes the peace negotiations with the Philippine government. 
A Makati court sentences pork barrel scam mastermind Janet Napoles to life in prison Tuesday. The court finds Napoles guilty of illegally detaining former employee Ben Hurloy. The court adds Napoles conspired with her brother Jojo Lim to detain Lui against his will. Napoles also faces plunder charges for allegedly conspiring with lawmakers to siphon public funds for kickbacks. The Supreme Court denies the appeal of dismissed Philippine Military Academy or PMA cadet Jeff Aldrin Kudia. Supreme Court spokesperson Theodore Tess says the court denies Kudia's motion for reconsideration based on the PMA's dismissal of the cadet. In February, the Supreme Court affirmed Kudia's dismissal for violating the school's honor code, which says the cadets cannot lie, cheat, steal, nor tolerate those who do so. Kudia was supposed to graduate with honors in 2014, but the PMA Honor Committee dismissed him for lying about being late to class. Boxing champ Manny Pacquiao gets a surprise visit from another champ, Ultimate Fighting Championship or UFC women's bantamweight fighter Ronda Rousey visits Pacquiao at his home in Los Angeles, California. In January, Pacquiao supported Rousey in her fight against Kat Zingano. Pacquiao promised Rousey a free ticket to his fight with Floyd Mayweather. He also said Rousey can beat Mayweather in an MMA fight. For those on desktop, click on the links on your screen. You can also click on the tabs below to go to a story in the video. And for those on smartphones and tablets, the links can be found below the video. Rappler has a patented user engagement model that puts a mood meter on every story. All your votes on those mood meter are aggregated by the mood navigator in the middle of the front page. Today's top story is this one. Um, from street child to Atenean, the story of Rusty. You have a whopping 84% inspired, bringing out the mood of the day. Today, most people are inspired. That is the wrap for today, Tuesday, April 14th, 2015. Visit rapper.com for the latest news here and around the world. Check out our other shows, SciTech for You and Rappler Talk. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Maria Ressa. As we say at Rappler, tomorrow begins today. <laughs>